Hello and welcome. My name is Tucker Davis. I'm with the Specialty Transformer Division of Southwest Electric. And today I'm going to be talking to you about transformer monitoring. So oftentimes we are requested to provide monitoring equipment for our transformers. And the reasons can vary. Sometimes these transformers can be placed in a kind of a remote location, far away from the main working area of the personnel in the facility or possibly in an area that's not very easy to get to, not very feasible to go and check on every day. But they do want to keep an eye on how the transformer is performing, how it's operating in real time. And we have a variety of different accessories and components that will allow you to do so. So starting here, this is what's called a winding temperature gauge. So the internal of the transformer is literally called a winding. And as these transformers run, they'll start to generate a lot of heat. And if the temperature gets too high, it could damage the transformer and shorten the life of it. So this will actually monitor essentially the hottest part of the transformer and allow you to keep an eye on it as the transformer is operating. Now what's unique about these temperature gauges, they actually have a max indicator point. I'm not sure if you can see it from there, but as this transformer starts to ramp up to full load, its temperature will increase but you have a red dial that will indicate the maximum amount of temperature that it has reached during operation. So this is generally going to be used for just purely mechanical gauge with no electrical connections to a control room or remote monitoring capabilities whatsoever. But we also provide it on the ones that you can connect to a remote monitoring system. So next, this is a pressure vacuum gauge. As these transformers are operating, they will generate a little bit of pressure, obviously not very much. Usually pressure is not going to be a huge issue, but if you do happen to read a spike in pressure or even start to notice a vacuum on your monitors or on the gauge, you know something may not be exactly as it should. Next, we have a liquid level gauge. So these transformers are filled with oil and all the conductive components inside the transformer tank have to be covered in oil. So it's very important that you know where your oil level is. Like I said before, these units can be in remote locations or they can be in areas not very feasible to check on every single day. So if you start to develop a leak and start to lose oil, it could pose a problem if you're not keeping an eye on it because eventually the oil level will get down to where some of those conductive components are going to be exposed and that will start to damage those components and the insulation surrounding them. So it's very important to know where your level is or where your oil level is just to make sure your transformer has the appropriate amount of oil to keep everything covered and cooled as it should. So like the winding temperature gauge, this is another temperature gauge. This is actually for just the oil. So while this is measuring the temperature of the components or, or the windings, this is just taking a reading of the oil temperature at the very top or near the very top of the oil level. Same concept, generally you will not have a winding temperature gauge. That is a little less common. If you do get a temperature gauge, this is usually the one you're gonna get. And just like the winding temperature gauge, this has a max indicator where it will tell you it reached its its hottest temperature during operations. So again, that's more convenient for just the mechanical gauges without the means to monitor remotely, but also indicated on these as well. So next is our cover mounted pressure release. So if there does happen to be something go awry with your transformer and there is a, a spike in pressure or a fault and a huge spike in pressure, this will activate and this will relieve the transformer of any pressure built up inside and will help to keep from deforming the tank or causing any other internal structural damage that may be associated with the issue. So this device here is what we call a bleeder. So if you do see a, an increase in pressure and it gets to a certain point, this will actually help bleed off that pressure. Just if you're seeing minor variations, nothing too catastrophic or uh, incremental, this will help bleed off that pressure and keep the pressure balance or the PSI balance within the transformer. So all of these gauges have a conduit coming out of them and running to this box. So what is this box? This is what we call a control box. As I've alluded to earlier, we have essentially two different types of gauges. You have mechanical 
gauges where it's literally just the gauge. There's no conduit, no electrical connection whatsoever. And then we have gauges with contacts, which essentially is all what you see here. And so this allows for remote monitoring for the customer so they can actually hook up to these gauges and read them in real time back in their control room at their facility whenever they need to. So inside is all your circuitry for the customer to connect to. So we do all this wiring ourselves. This is exactly how it will ship to the customer. All the customer has to do is decide whether they want to come in from the top or the bottom or the side and run their own cable and they can connect to the gauges and start to monitor the transformer. So this one's a little unique because this transformer will come with a fan control box. We generally put these on separately. These come pre-wired from the vendor and they have a really, really easy, straightforward pre-wired box that makes fan operation very simple. As you can see, you got your first switch here, which gives you three positions. You can turn your fans on manually. You can completely turn them off or you can turn them on auto. If you're going to turn them on auto, that's when it will start to take into account the temperature of the transformer. So essentially the fans just provide additional cooling for the transformer. If for whatever reason you need additional capacity at certain times during the year or, or whatever the case may be, fans can provide a boost, if you will, of capacity for operations uh, if you're needing to run a little bit higher than what you, what you typically do. So when the transformer starts to get to that load or to that capacity where it's getting a little too hot without the fans, the fans will then kick on and provide that extra boost to cooling so it can continue to run without affecting the life of the transformer. For more information on monitoring, visit swelectric.com.